Alpine project is to develop the brand awareness internationally uh, outside France, outside Europe and being both in Formula One and in endurance on 24 hours of Le Mans. It's two key pillars for developing that awareness and it's an incredible project developing a brand thanks to Motorsport. I'm, I'm very proud of it. The two projects, Formula One and Endurance, are very important for the brand, but they are not of the same magnitude. I think Formula One is much bigger in terms of resources, uh, of course, but yeah, there are bridges, quite a lot of, because in Alpine Racing in Very, uh, we are developing, of course, all the Formula One engine uh, hybrid systems, and we are developing also the Formula E powertrain. Then we have a very strong and transversal know-how between the discipline, and we are using this know-how, we are using these resources to develop the endurance program. the development since two months now. We are still in the first step to work on the reliability is the first point. And to make a choice and to assure some uh, technical points before the homologation at the end of the year. It's always a crucial time, it's the foundation of the project. So LMDH car. So with a common package uh, for every manufacturer, so with a Bosch uh, uh, electric engine and uh, Williams uh, battery, so it's a quite a normal thing with uh, X-Track uh, gearbox. But for Alpine Racing, we have a V6 engine, uh, 3.4 liters with a single turbo from Mechachrome. So we are using Formula 2 engine with, of course, a lot of change for LMDH project. We started by taking all the constraints Constraint I'm coming from the chassis, the chassis from Oreca, but also from the regulation and the aerodynamics. And we started to design the car, give the identity of the brand. And uh, for the story, what's interesting, in the same time, uh, we were do, working on a concept car called Alpenglow. We did these two cars side by side, and, it, and the car were influencing each other. Our goal is to have uh, some very good value about uh, aerodynamics, uh, weight balance and so on. These values are very important for the behavior of the car and the performance of, of the car. So of course we, we, we change a lot of appendix to be on this performance window. And for the weight balance uh, we try to, to manage uh, tire temperature. So we want to, to, to test a lot of weight balance to, to be sure about uh, all these subjects. <laughs> front end, uh, with the V-shape, with the lamp, there is all the, the work on the light we see now at 24 Hour Le Mans, the strength of the light signature, you know, in between all the brands. So I really like that. And the second thing is at the rear, because we started to find a light signature for the rear. And of course, at one point you say, well, let's do just the A, J just do our emblem, just a signal for the competitors behind us. So that's, and I see uh, on, the, on the social network, everybody loves this detail and we really love it. On the front, there is the V. There are four lamps. It's important. On the A110 today, our road cars, there are four rings. But now you have four lamps, but it's stripes, but it's the same position. So from very far, you see, you recognize uh, the family feeling. On the body side, there is a shape where you have an air intake uh, for the brakes, but these shapes is really a kind of signature that's coming also from the heritage of Alpine. And of course, at the back, the A. It's 
very emotional, as you can imagine, because the first one of the new car, it's the best car that we never had in our hands to operate, so very emotional. And uh, after that, we are focused on numerous and uh, on the screen as usual. Now our job is to work well and to find the, the good way to uh, operate the better with uh, this car. Our ambition is to be able to fight for the, for the wins and if we are able to fight for the wins, we will be able to fight for the titles. Of course, uh, we are taking it at the, um, in a very humble way. We have a, a, a strong learning curve to get, but as soon as possible, we would like to be able uh, to fight in the front. My favorite time is when the driver go out of the car with smile and she said, Philippe, we have a fantastic car for the future. In 2024, the grid will be even better with uh, an incredibly high level of competitors. We are only here with our third test session. The first race of the championship is end of February, then coming very, very soon. Uh, we will still have a lot to learn during the 2024 season and this is why we will be uh, racing next year.